Moin. Hallo. Servus. We're back to the dreaded TikTok. I just want to do this as an experiment. Let's see if we can derive any value from it. There is value because there is something there. However, it is very fragmented, car compartmentalized, and low attention span content. That being said, let's see how my attention span works watching such short videos, right? Bite-sized content. There is a sad thing about this though, because uh, when I was in the Philippines just recently um, in November, uh, I met some of my wife's family there and some of her cousins and things, they already have phones. And this is, this is not exclusive to the Philippines. This is the same thing in Canada. And it really depends on the parenting. It absolutely depends on the parenting. Uh, and I'm not blaming parents. Well, I sort of am. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you'll have like toddlers and they have cell phones. And they're already like, they're holding the cell phone like this. They're looking at videos and they're just swipe, swipe. Swipe, swipe, watch for five seconds. Swipe, 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 swipe. And yeah, it's terrible. Their little brains are getting fried. Luckily, I didn't have a cell phone when I was little. They weren't around yet. So lucky for me, right? Lucky for us. Anyways, let's check this out. Meine Mutter hat mich einfach erlaubt. All right, let's go. Meine Mama hat mir einfach erlaubt, dass ich Cola trinken darf. Wie cool ist das bitte? Jetzt zocke ich Fortnite und trinke Cola. Yippie! Meine Mama hat mir... That's pretty cute. The voice is cute. Pretty precious, actually. Meine Mama hat mir einfach erlaubt, dass ich Cola trinken darf. Dass ich Cola trinken darf. Wie cool ist das bitte? Jetzt zock ich Fortnite und trink Cola. Yippie! That's actually pretty cool. I like that. It's a good advertisement. Look at this propaganda advertising for Coca-Cola, though. Uh, zero sugar. Um, but yeah, that kid's pretty cute. Next one. Was bist du? Vegetarisch. Und was isst du gerade? Fleisch. Aber das mache ich nur manchmal. It is um, like the German word for meat, Fleisch. It, like it looks like flesh, right? I feel like if we called meat in English flesh, it would probably turn more people off to eating it. Like, because you're eating flesh, right? And it is flesh, but I think people connotate that a little bit with more like human flesh. That's the, usually the, the where it's used contextually. What'd she say? Was bist du? Uh, what are you? Was bist du? Vegetarisch. Und was isst du gerade? Fleisch. Aber das mache ich nur manchmal. <laughs> was bist du? Typical vegetarian. Halftime vegetarian. Okay. At least we can't see any logos in this one. Looks like she's drinking a bottle of olive oil. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't like these ones with really loud music in them. It's just annoying. Is it easy? No. Do I like it? No, I don't. But do I do it? Yeah, I do. Is it easy? That is one thing about memes and all of this content that's recreated and recut and reused that people do have to have some sort of creativity about it because they're able to mix and match and kind of create things. They're able to recontextualize stuff from other media, right? So you have Michael Scott here from The Office, and I don't know what he's talking about or what the context of the scene is in the television show, but then they can flip that and use it for whatever they want. Uh, in this case, German learners, learners of the, the German language being 
you know, I don't like doing it, uh, da da da, but I do it, right? <laughs> Is it easy? No. Do I like it? No, I don't. But do I do it? Yeah, I do. Is it easy? And Steve Carell, one of the greatest comedic actors, I feel, especially his role as Michael Scott, it's pretty genius. He's great. Hello! <laughs> We saw this one on the last meme video, so I'm going to skip it. I, I went through a phase where I'd never cry about anything, and now I reckon I cry four times a week. I don't cry four times a week, but I cry a lot. <laughs> may have unintentionally committed a hate crime, and that's not good. <laughs> I do have different vibes. Sometimes I'm like on drugs, sometimes I'm super normal. Super normal. You can also be super normal, which I am right now. Thought I was ready to be back. I th the thing is, nobody's super normal. We're all just trying our best wandering through this life. Everybody's pretty weird, really. But we kind of gloss over that fact and try to pretend that we're normal. When in reality, everybody's crazy and everybody's weird. But we can all pretend we're normal, I suppose. But we should embrace the weirdness, embrace the strangeness of life. Or just pretend you're weird. Just be yourself. I am right now. Thought I was ready to be back. POV. Me when I go back to the German class after the weekend and see this on the board. I thought I was stronger than this, but obviously I'm not. I want to go home. Teacher. Do you want to do some grammar to finish off the lesson? Me. Nein. Wer liegt? Nicht. Ich nicht. Das Nein steht also. Oh no. Aber ganz fest. <laughs> A strict and no. And I've got to say in all honesty, um, it's the biggest piece of dog shit. That meme with the rock is pretty classic. In all honesty, it's the biggest piece of dog shit. <laughs> it's the biggest piece of dog shit. I went through a phase. There's some pretty clever memes in there. I can't, uh, I can't hold it against them. Which scream is real? Ah! That's not real. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Katana Joe? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Katana Joe? <laughs> so far, this meme is incredibly stupid, and I feel I'm losing brain cells, but it's also somewhat entertaining. Entertaining because you want to find out which scream is, in fact, real. <laughs> See, this is the type of stupid content that it kind of has a decent hook, right? So you have the numbers going up in sequential order, and then you have which scream is real. So the person wants to keep listening until maybe they actually recognize what might be a real scream. And you see in the comments here, none of those is real. Uh, so I don't think any of them are going to be real. But it's kind of a, a good hook type of content to gather lots of views. I don't know how many views this has. It's got 7,000 likes. So this is just pissing me off now. I'm gonna skip it. I do like that cat meme with the cat going, huh? But this is silly. Wunderbar. My brain deciding what to do when someone speaks to me in German. 
Vibe tá? Just smile and nod. Oh yeah. Everybody enters those conversations in life where you kind of your brain is maybe paying attention 15 to 20%, maybe 30%. The other 70% is just like in your own world and you're like you're just nodding at Oh yeah, yeah. Whereas if they ask you a question about what they've been saying, you wouldn't be able to answer it. It's pretty bad. <laughs> That's something about being like in the present with people and making sure that you're actively listening to them. You have to be an active listener. So you really have to be there because people pick up pretty quickly actually on your body language. Uh, it's pretty easy to pick up that you're not really listening. I fall apart. When someone tells me that German is not hard and they could probably be fluent in six months. J. Jonah Jameson. <laughs> <laughs> Who here knows the Bully Maguire memes? They are pretty fantastic. If you know the Bully Maguire memes, we have something in common at least. Which scream is real? Oh, God. <laughs> Another day in Germany. It's one minute. Too late. I don't know if this guy is German, um, but his videos seem to be kind of those well-known, like, German stereotypes that you see on the internet a lot. And then the videos are kind of based on that. So being late in this case is, like, the worst thing of all time that you could do. Okay. Whatever that means. Okay. <laughs> when I finally started to understand German and met a guy with a Bavarian accent. What's going on here? Oh, he used another knife? I don't quite know what's going on here, but it seems to be referring to the quite real situation of people quickly amassing many dishes and also using the second knife when he'd already put the first one in the dish in the sink. Like you can't, you cannot use the second one first. I personally would have put it like on top of the Nutella or whatever that chocolate stuff is. I would have put the knife on top of there until I was sure that I didn't need any more. Uh, but yeah, the peanut butter knife, I usually use it, peanut butter, and then you do like the the lick yeah you you lick off the the extra peanut butter throw it in the sink the key to dishes is doing them as they amass i mean not as they amass <laughs> you don't want to let them amass the key to doing dishes is after you make a meal or eat something do the dishes because it's only like one two three three to four items that you have to wash and then you're done but if you put them in the sink or put them like right and then then the next time, and then you have a pot and a pan, and then it really starts to build up really quickly, and you lose control of it, man. You lose control of it, and before you know it, you're living on the streets. You're living on the streets if you let that get out of control. Real talk, though, I had a roommate at one point, and it blew my mind and really annoyed me. However, I never really brought it up to them that much. I just... I didn't want to get in like a awkward situation about it. So I ended up just moving. I literally, I, yeah, I literally just moved instead of having a conversation with them, instead of bringing the, bringing this up and telling them that they're a slob and that I really don't like what they're doing. I just moved. That was easier for me. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm out, but they would leave. Okay. I have no problem with dishes. The thing was, they would leave dishes, but with lots of food still on the dishes and put it into the sink. Also, like pots and pans, they would like put it in the sink and it's got like food still on it. 
So then, like, the food ends up going down, the, like, the drain, and then it clogs the drain, and then the drain is clogged, and then we have to go to the, like, the owner of our apartment and say, hey, sorry, you know, the, the, the kitchen sink is, is clogged. Why? Because you can't do the very simple task of grabbing the garbage can or the, the compost bucket, scraping your food off, scrape the food off, ch -ch, easy, scrape it off, stupid, and then put it in the sink. But yeah, I moved. I was out. That's enough. In Germany, we don't say, hey, girl. You We've seen this one. I'll see if I can say what he says here. Look so beautiful. Can I take your number, please? In German, you would say, Hey, Mädchen, give me that number, yeah? Hey, Mädchen, give me that, give me that, uh, give me that number, yeah? Hey, Mädchen, give me uh, yeah. that. What's your Alles gut. Another day in Berlin, more like. <laughs> Italian man. Huh? What is going on here? This content is hurting my brain. I'm going to skip. So, heute lernen wir ein, eine, einem, eine. Ich habe eine Frage. Eine Frage. Ja, yeah, whatever, eine. Kann ich eine Apfel essen? Falsch, nicht eine Apfel. Ein? Na, einem? Nein. Yo, I'm not even, I'm not hungry anymore. Deutsch bitte. Ich habe keinen Hunger. Na, falsch. Keinem? Unglaublich. It, it, just, I don't, it doesn't matter. I don't care. Du musst das lernen. Ja, und du bist ein Arschloch. Ein Arschloch. Arschloch. Was ist denn da los? Wir lernen Deutsch. Ach so, an Deutschkurs machst du, John Boy. Is it? But he said an Deutschkurs. That's not right. Ein Deutschkurs. Aber er hat gesagt, einen Deutschkurs machst du, John Boy. What? It changes? And what does he say an? Ja, das ist Dialekt. Oh, it's Dialekt. Of course. So, heute lernen... Didn't quite understand everything that's going on there, but I still found it quite a funny. In Germany, we don't say... Oh, hi, are you right, mate? We say... In <laughs> Germany... <laughs> Just don't say anything. That's another one of those stereotypes, like the... In public, kind of... Not saying hi randomly to people, I suppose. Alright. Uh, yeah, some of these were okay. But for the most part, the content is still not the best. Uh, but it is what it is. I told you guys some stories. And we watched some TikToks. That is a true story. A true story. Take care of yourselves. I really appreciate you hanging out. And uh, yeah, link in the description to send me longer form content that we can get up and enjoy together. All right. Tschüss. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye-bye.